When I first heard of, uh, about it, you know, um, what passed me in D.C., uh, I start hearing about it and, and then people start talking about it. And one of the things that I found uh, uh, that people were um, misinformed of, about the bill. So, you know, some of the rumors that, that I was hearing uh, was that, hey, look, this is a bill that's going to kill black people. Uh, it's designed to wipe out the senior population uh, of African Americans. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, God ain't for this because uh, people are taking their lives. You know, so I'm listening to this and I'm like, okay. Uh, so I was kind of like, okay, this, this bill doesn't sound good. It doesn't seem like this is something for our community or for the faith community. Uh, so one of the things that I, I really started doing, you know, because of my investigative background, I said, well, let me check this bill out and see exactly what is going on with it. Uh, so I started reading up on the bill. I started talking to folks and uh, I had two ladies that approached me in a Starbucks uh, a few years back, uh, Donna and Brandy, and they uh, uh, explained the bill to me in full. And once I got the full knowledge of what the bill really was uh, and began to understand and begin to read stuff uh, for myself, then I became a convert. I said, this is something that is needed in the African-American community. Uh, it's not necessarily focusing on dying, but it's focused on preparing to die. Uh, and, and it's something that is lacking in the African-American community, especially in our churches. Uh, people want to talk about going to see Jesus, but nobody want to die to see him. Uh, but we have to be able to have an honest and open conversation. Uh, there's a lot of misnomer about this bill that people have, mis many uh, misconceptions. Uh, many misunderstandings that they have and uh, come to find out a lot of them just haven't read it uh you know just to be point blank they have not read the bill uh they have not researched the bill uh some of the things that they talk about in the bill uh, as far as suicide uh is not there so when i engage in conversations with a lot of these pastors uh the first thing i ask them have you read the bill and uh and i and i, I pretty much stop it there if you have not read the bill read the bill first get an understanding of what the bill really is, and then come back and let's have an intelligent uh, conversation. Because I cannot talk to you when you're just talking off the cuff and you really don't know what's in, in, in the bill at, at all. Hey, look, if, you've been, uh, if you have uh, uh, stuff set up, you can also leave something behind that will help your church, that will build your church, that will carry on your church uh, uh, as well, and just being able to educate them. So that's been the big push that uh, converted me was finding out, educating myself, and now being able to educate uh, the other pastors that are out there.